and be happy always. Once again, welcome to the class of Economics in Shachi's Academy, where we discuss various topics with very simple tips and easy keywords. So get ready for today's topic. Today's topic is circular flow of income. This is a very important topic from examination point of view and we can really discuss it really easily. This is very easy. Just have a little focus. So circular flow of income. Before discussing that, we will discuss real flow and money flow. What is real? But before that, can I ask you a question? Okay. Do you eat money? No, you will say this is a stupid question. Yes, of course, we can never eat money because we cannot chew it or digest it. But it tastes also bad. So, what we do with money? We just use it as a medium to buy goods and services. Suppose there is an island. You live on an island and there is no money. So, what will happen there? There is real flow. That is barter economy, right? Barter economy, what do you do in barter system? You exchange goods for goods or services for goods right so this is a barter type of economy and we will consider real flow real flow means only goods and services nothing else no money money is absent there is no money i'm writing here money there is no money no money at all you don't have any single penny so what you will do when you need food you can take it from funds that is food or goods or whatever so you take goods and Everything commodities from these firms. But when you take goods from firm, you have to give something and you don't have money here in this economy. So what you can give? You can give your labor. You have only your hands to work or your brain to serve them. So you will give them services. These are factor services. You give them factor services. Right? So in real flow, you get goods from firms and give services to, to them. So this is our real flow. Money is totally absent. There is no money. Now, money flow. There is money here, here and you don't exchange your goods for goods. Right. Here you exchange money for your services. What do you do? When you work for firms, what do you get? You get payment. Right. Payment or salary. We are right. Payment over here. Pay payment you get payment and then from this income or that is you can say income what do you do you spend on goods of these services so households make expenditure this is known as expenditure right you spend on goods and services produced by them so this is flow of money between households and your firms right understood Real flow, flow of goods and services. Money flow, flow of money between firms and households. You get payment and you spend on goods of firms. Right. Then we come to our circular flow of income. What is circular flow of income? The combined form of your real flow and money flow. In that we will discuss three phases of our production. That is flow. Here we have three phases. Production phase in economy. Production phase. Then we have income phase. That is generation of income or distribution of income phase. Income phase. Income phase. And then we have here expenditure phase. Expenditure phase. So we have three phases. Right? Here. It's moving like that. Okay. When factor services or factor of production produce some commodity right when they work households work in firms these are the firms over here what do they get they get payment they work here they produce goods and they get payment that is income phase income generation or it is distributed the whole uh, money that is Generated in form of producing goods is distributed in form of income. You receive payments for your work. That is households. This is household sector. Right? Over here. This is household. Now, this household, it cannot eat its salary or payment. It cannot eat money. So, what it will do? It will spend that money on goods and services produced by firms. That is goods. It will be 
spending on goods of these firms. So this is expenditure phase. So whatever money people get from working, they spend. So this is a flow of your money, circular flow. And these are three, there are three phases, production phase, income phase and expenditure phase. Suppose we have produced goods of 1 crore rupees. If goods are of value of 1 crore rupees, right? So value of goods is 1 crore rupees. That is produced by your firms. Then this whole amount, that is whole production is distributed among factor services. Right, so this is distributed among them. So this is again 1 crore. And then again this whole 1 crore is spent on goods and services of firms. So again 1 crore reaches these firms. 1 crore. Then again they will produce. Again these factors of production or households will receive 1 crore. Again they will spend 1 crore. And again this cycle moves on endlessly and endlessly on and on. So this is known as circular flow of your income. Money sorry. And now triple identity. What is triple identity? Identity between them all. Production. Production. Then we have income is equal to expenditure. Expenditure. Right? Expenditure. Now production was of 1 crore. 1 crore. Income 1 crore and expenditure again 1 crore. So this is known as triple identity. That means all of these three phases are equal in economy. This is known as triple identity. We have discussed real flow, flow of goods and services only. Money flow, flow of money. Circular flow, the flow of money in economy that moves on in circle or you can say in zigzag motion also but money never stays in one hand you can never hold money for long you will have to spend on different goods and services if you don't spend your money you will die so to survive you have to spend money on goods and services and when you spend money you will have to earn money so this is a cycle that moves on endlessly now i discuss two sector model in your two sector model we have to assume that we do not have government and we do not have any foreign country or we do not export or import. We have only two sector economy. Two sector means only the firms, only the firms, we have the firms over here and the households, right? Households. All of us know now what do the households give? They give factor services to these firms. What do they give? They give factor services. Factor services. This is very simple. Now all of us know that they give factor services to firms. Then firms, in lieu of factor services, what do they do? They give payments. This is what? Your money flow. We have discussed, just now discussed. This is your money flow. Now we can draw our real flow also. Okay. In lieu of work, what do they get? Right? They give payments and in lieu of work, we purchase from them goods and services. Right? So, what do we do? We get goods and services from them. Right? We can write here goods and services from firms. What we are getting? Payments and goods and services in physical form. And here, what do we give to these firms, household sector, we give them expenditure. Okay, right? See, if this firm produces biscuits, we will spend on their biscuits, right? Whatever income we are getting, we will spend on their biscuits. We have discussed triple identity, right? So this is two sector model. There is no government. Government is not there and foreign nation, any foreign, that is export import is not there. Foreign export and import is not there and crossing them. We have only firms and households. There are only two sectors in our economy. This is known as two sector model. See, firms will give you goods to consume and payment to survive. And what do you give to firms? You give them your factor services 
to produce goods and you will give them expenditure you will give them again the money so you are getting money from here and you are giving them money and helping them to produce again they will produce goods and services again they will give them to you and again you will give your factor services so two sector model is nothing but combined form of your real flow and money flow this is nothing this is combined form you just add your real flow and money flow and write over here this is very simple just write what is real flow and money flow real is again you will revise real is your flow of goods and services only there is no money and money flow is you just exchange money between household and firms you get payment and you give them expenditure right and again circular flow it is having three phases production phase income phase expenditure phase you produce goods and services of one row or any value you get the value and you just get the payments from firms and you spend on them one crore one crore one crore and this is known as triple iit because all the phases are equal in value and there is no leakage between them and then two sector model it is combined form of your real flow and money flow you get the goods from firms you give them services you get the payments from them and you give them expenditure so this is how we discuss circular flow this is very very simple you just have to think a bit focus a bit and that's all ready for your exams to score good marks whole marks 100 out of 100 now if you have any comments any queries you can send them to us we will be more than happy to answer them and be happy and subscribe this channel happily subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for further updates thank you so much